Hey everybody, this video is going to take you from week four all the way through harvest in my one plant in a four by four video. Now, honestly, the grow could have been better. I run out of nutrients as you see and using organic, it's kind of hard to manage. This is the first time I grew this plant, but I say hard to manage because you really have to anticipate with organic nutrients because they're not immediately available. But I'm going to give you the perfect example of where Synganics can really help a grower. So I hope you enjoy. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. We're in week four. She's looking a little hungry. Let's check it out. Here's a look at the top of the canopy. And as you can see in this fourth week, the buds and the colas are definitely starting to form a little bit more, but you can see kind of the lightness color in the lease. Now the water pressure is good. You see the leaves are still kind of praying. Everything is good there, but it's just getting hungry. And another good way to tell is if you look at the lower leaves, you will see at the bottom, very most bottom, we're getting that yellow. This is a sign of nutrients translocating to the top because there aren't enough up here. Now, not all mobile, not all nutrients are mobile within the plant. So that can give you a hint. You know, when you start to see that yellowing down on the bottom, that's a sign that, you know, a little bit more nitrogen is needed up at the top. But enough about nutrients for now, let's look at the buds. So we can see a little bit more stacking here. And as you can tell, a little bit of trichome coverage is starting to come in on a lot of these bud sites, but you know, not a super frost monster. That's kind of what I expect from a lot of the European stuff, but hey, these things are stacking up fairly nice for the time in flowering that we're at. And with this grow, I've introduced the side lighting. So, you know, it's hitting a lot of these buds, making sure that they get, you know, a little bit more light than they would just from the light coming from the top. We got one over there. We've got one over here on this side, hitting these buds. And then we got a couple here in back as well. Well, that's not a really good shot, but I don't have one here in the very front. So one way for me to kind of compare and contrast on is the side lighting working is these front buds. I'm going to compare these buds here in the front to the buds on the side that are getting plenty of lighting. And we're going to see which is bigger. We're going to see if this side lighting makes any difference to me in my total yields. All right, so back to the nutrient issue. As you know, I have been growing this using the KISS Organic Nutrient Pack during the veg cycle, and I am using the KISS Organics Bloom Booster during the flower cycle. Now, these are organic top dress amendments. I could put some on right now. It is week four. And organic ingredients typically take two, sometimes three weeks before their plant available to the root system. They need to go through the microbial process. It's a long story. This is a grow report. I won't get into it. So this is where sometimes the synganic approach can be beneficial to growers because I need something that's going to be fast acting. I really have about two weeks of good nutrient or need left. Uh, and then, you know, another two weeks to let it fade. But I've been using this Kiss Organic stuff for so long, I don't really have much in my toolbox. I do have a bottle of this Botanicare kind of bloom. It's 066, so there's no nitrogen in there. You cut nitrogen in flower down significantly, but you still want a little bit. As you can see, this plant, oh, leaf falls off. As you can see, this plant kind of needs it. And I'm gonna water in some of this synthetic nutrients. Now, again, I'm doing that because time is limited and my organic choice of feeding isn't gonna be available in time to turn this plant around for that final push. So let's find out how it turns out. Day 42 of flower, things are starting to look like they're getting closer to the end, but I need them to be closer to the end because I am taking an unexpected trip to Mexico soon. So let's take a closer look at some of the buds on the plant. As you can see, you know, there is trichome coverage starting to form on these buds and they are starting to, you know, stack up from top to bottom, like the one there in the back. But yeah, the, the you know, the leaves, they are still looking a little bit light. I did add some of that uh, 066 bloom formula that I had sitting in here because again the organic doses weren't going to be effective in time uh, especially now with that shortened 
leave date. So that is what we're looking at, day 42. We've reached day 56, and this thing is pretty much done growing. And as you can tell, there's a whole lot more yellow on this plant. Now, I did add some synthetic nutrients, which kind of did give it a boost at the right time. Again, the end is really when you see a lot of the buds swelling. And speaking of that, taking a look at the buds, I am seeing more trichome coverage, but I'm also seeing, you know, the stigma is turning brown. I'm seeing the trichome heads start to go from a clear to a milky to some are starting to turn amber. And I'm also seeing the bracts swell. All of these are signs that harvest is near. So I'm not gonna add any more nutrients. This thing has a nice senescence going on. I'm just gonna let it fade. But let's actually go in and take a look at those things I just mentioned and check out the buds. It's kind of a nice look left to right. And as you can see in the back and on the sides here, I do have that side lighting going. A shot of some of those lower buds there under that side lighting. Here's a look at one of those buds. As you can see, you know, the trichome coverage is setting in. Not the frostiest thing I've ever seen, but a decent amount there. We've got the stigmas. They're starting to turn brown. I do st still see some fresh white ones up there, but the majority are brown. But you also notice that the bracts, they're getting swollen. They're starting to plump up, and that really is a good sign, too, that harvest is near. But... This is what most of the buds are looking like on this plant right now. Another close up of one of the buds. Because I'm so close to harvest, I'm gonna go through and do a very heavy strip on this, a defoliation. Also, yellow leaves, they don't photosynthesize. So they're not doing anything really beneficial for the plant here, so they need to go. But yeah, I'm basically gonna pre-harvest strip this, and then I'll show you guys a little bit more of what the plant looked like as it was harvested. And here you are. This is the end of the big plant run. You know, if I wasn't leaving for Mexico today, I would probably let it go another week, but it is actually close enough that I am comfortable harvesting it. So otherwise it would have to wait for another three weeks and it would be way overripe, but that's another story. Um, pretty stoked with how it turned out. I mean, we did run out of nutrients. It could have been larger, but that's okay. This still produced plenty of nice buds. We'll take a look at those in a second. But uh, yeah, the Exodus cheese, Garden of Green. I will say that I think the side lighting was beneficial for this grow. So that is a plus. Um, a lot of the buds on the side are equal to the buds here on the top. And the lollipop popping I did also helped contribute to that. But yeah, side lighting, I definitely think made a difference on this run. Thank you for watching this grow. I appreciate you tuning in to each of the episodes. More stuff coming up here on the Chad Westport YouTube channel. Definitely go over to the website, chadwestport.com. Check out the gear, check out some of my writing and other videos, and also Instagram, chad.westport. So again, this is my one plant in the 4x4 grow. Thank you for watching and remember to party on.